When you add text to an image in Photoshop, it automatically appears on a special kind of layer called a type layer. Text on a type layer remains editable, so that you can always change its content or its appearance. And it has smooth edges when printed, even if you make the text a lot bigger. In this video, we'll practice adding text to an image. You can use this image from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial, or an image of your own. The tool you'll use most often to create text is the Horizontal Type tool. You can select it here in the Tools panel. Then go up to the Options bar and click on the Font menu. Here you'll see a list of fonts that you can scroll through to choose one you like. The list shows you a preview of what each font looks like. Or if you know the font that you want, you can just type it here in the font field. I'll type Georgia. And Photoshop shows you all available styles of that font. I'll choose Georgia Bold. If you don't have this font, choose a font of your own. Next, let's set the font size. This menu shows you the font size in points by default. By the way, the default size is very small on a large image like this. If you ever enter type and you can't see it, that's probably why. So just try again with a larger font size. Here you can type in a font size if you know it, or you can click this arrow and choose a font size from the drop-down menu. I'll choose a large font size. Let's use white for the text we're going to enter. To set the font color, go up to the Options bar and click the Font Color field. That opens the Color Picker, which we covered in an earlier tutorial in this series. To select white here, go to the Large field on the left and click on white, and then click OK. If you want to type uppercase letters, as I do, press the Caps Lock key on your keyboard. Then click in the image and start typing. I'm going to type the name of a fictional tailor business. You can type any name you like. After you enter or edit text, you always have to accept it. One way to do that is to go up to the options bar and click the big check mark there. If the text isn't where you want it, then go to the Tools panel and select the Move tool. Click in the image and drag the text where you want it. Now take a look at the Layers panel. You'll see that Photoshop has created a new layer for you, and it's even named it for you. The T icon on the layer indicates that this is a special, re-editable type layer. Now let's say you want another type layer. Using multiple type layers will let you work with and position each one separately, just like regular layers. So let's go back to the Tools panel and select the Horizontal Type tool again. Then move into the image and hold down the Shift key as you click to start a new type layer. That assures that the new text will end up on its own layer rather than tacked on to the end of the first layer, which can happen if you start making one type layer too close to another. Let's choose some different options for this type layer. I'll go up to the font menu and this time I'm going to choose a different font and a smaller font size. And then I'll start typing. You can type what you like. At the end of the first line I'm going to press the return or the enter key on the keyboard to add another line of type on the same type layer. When you're finished typing, go up to the Options bar and click the big check mark. As long as you still have the Type Layer selected in the Layers panel, and you still have the Horizontal Type tool selected in the Tools panel, you can change the options for this type layer. For example, if I want the two lines of type on this layer to be center aligned, here in the Options bar, I'll click the Center Align icon. Then select the Move tool in the Tools panel and click on the new text and drag it where you want it. And now there's another type layer over in the Layers panel. When you're finished, go to the File menu and choose Save As. In the Save As dialog box, it's important to save in the Photoshop format and to leave layers checked in order to retain your editable type layers in this working version of the file. If you need a copy to share, you can save another copy as a JPEG, but the JPEG won't retain your type layers. So those are the basics of creating text. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll see how to edit text.